it's been three years since since I put the uh, my first fishing video on this channel, and I've come a long way. I've come a really long way. But the problem I'm is having is that I'm um, I'm stuck in this little box of Southeast Queensland. You know what I mean? I'm filming the same stuff, doing the same things. So I think it's time to step out side the box and do a couple of things that are different you know i just want to i just want to get out of here and and tick some bucket list fish off you know like that that meter salty barra or just a meter barra in general like i've come close but you know 97 is not a meter so uh you know and like big queen fish and a giant giant trevally because i've only caught small giant trevally so that'd be good so i just want to get on the road and use this setup that i've made and just just catch some awesome fish and and just be happy hey just be happy on the road just uh setting up camp just doing whatever you know not knowing what you're doing tomorrow or the day after and yeah just cruising hey just like making a lifestyle out of it so leave everything else behind leave the leave the job alone leave the job behind leave the bloody the house behind leave uh security i'm leaving the security of a of, of what i've my life basically and just go and throw little pieces of plastic at fish for a while so that's what we're doing just packing up and setting sail here so i'm gonna load all this stuff in and then we're gonna get on the run i'm um, i'm sort of looking forward to it just that change of scenery and um you know just getting out and about and meeting new people so where am i going there's no real set destination like it's just i just want to go north and just figure it out from there. Um, so chances are, if you're north of Brisbane, I'll be driving past you. So um, I'm not really, I have to be careful about where I say, like I'd love to just say like where I am when I'm when I'm there and stuff, but I'm just gonna try not to blow up anybody's, you know, hometown, you know, anybody's secret spot. It's never my intention, but obviously there'd probably be a little bit of Animosity there has been in the past. Animosity of just like saying like, oh, you've ruined the. One bloke was upset because I ruined the the Coomera River for jacks, so I didn't realise it was a secret. Um, and obviously that when I caught those barra, you know, three or four dickheads blew up about that. And uh, even one guy had a go at me because I fished his spot, his flathead spot in the pine. So I was going to be trying and be careful about you know, saying exactly where I am. I think I just give the general area and if people figure it out, they figure it out. There's not much you can do, but the point is like, there's no such thing as a secret spot. You know, if I can find it on a map and, and fish it, then it's not real secret and catch fish there. But you know, I'm not trying to be arrogant or whatever. I'm just saying like, fishermen are pretty um, eccentric when it comes to their, their spot. Um, so anyways, I'm trying and be respectful the places I go. But um, either way, um, I'm not looking for spots, so don't just send me spots. I'd rather you don't send me spots. That way there's no sort of um, spoon feeding for one and just um, no animosity like, oh, such and such told Drew M where to fish and now the place is fucked. So, um, so anyway, we'll just figure it out as we go. But um, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, just have to streamline my rods a little bit. So, I mean, they're pretty cramped in here, but I'm just going to keep one six pound set up. Um, that's a 10 to 20 pound with the 4,000 on it. Two bait casters set ups for Jack and Jackson Barra. Uh, another 15 to 30 pound um, with a 4,000 on it, which I was using for like snapper and stuff. Should really tidy that up. And then right at the back there, a little 10 pound set up, 2,500 um, with a seven foot two to four kilo rod so that's basically it and then just a swim bait rod just tucked up the top there so that's all i'm bringing you know i don't need too much stuff i've got a bunch of tackle in here as well so all my tackle tackle trays and stuff like extra stuff so i've just had to streamline everything and um there's also i've got to put my big uh popping rod in here as well and a stellar so that'll be getting a bit of a workout too hopefully so yeah grappler Stella, they'll go in as well and hopefully we can get a big GT or something on those as well and also just to clear up a couple of maybe questions you got about whether like full time or whatever the, the YouTube's not really it's not really sustainable full time at the level I'm at 
so it may be maybe some time before I can go full time because just between you and me YouTube doesn't pay that well to be honest like it's um it's pretty low like probably you watching this now gives me a fraction of one cent so that's how much you sort of that's to put it in perspective so but what you can do is subscribe and like and comment and that's sort of the currency of YouTube is is you know the view you know watching the whole video the like the comment the engagement so and the subscribes obviously so do all those and we'll get on the road and we'll just um, we'll just see what happens just see where it takes us the end dates really just the rest of the year so like 2020 is already mostly a write-off so we might as well write it off all the way you know so you can go you can go broke sitting on a beach so we might as well go broke um, fishing so we might as well just yeah get on the road wipe the rest of the year out with fishing uh, for the most part and then um, see what happens after that so until then we're on the road I'll see you on the road in the next location and uh, a little bit further north from uh, home so I uh, hope to see you there.